Hello? Testing one, two, three. Hello? Testing one, two, three. Okay. I'm going to try again. Um, I had some problems with the recorder. Um, I keep getting messages that say app is not responding. And then a moment ago, it didn't even uh, work. So I don't know what's going on. Um, my neighbors might be jamming my uh, Wi-Fi. So I have my phone on uh, airplane mode. I think someone is trying to sabotage what I'm doing. God knows it could be someone retaliating on the work I'm doing or criticizing it without without doing it the right way. I think because my comments are off, um, they don't think there's any other creative way to do it besides stealthy uh, stealth technology. Whether they're jamming my Wi-Fi or jamming my device or disabling my apps remotely. I don't know. Anyway, um, without further ado, um, I'm suspecting that someone in the organ community is retaliating. And they're doing it in a covert way. I feel like I'm writing the book on covert and stealth abuse and covert and stealth retaliation right now. I don't have any way of proving it. That's the beauty of, of stealth abuse on their end. Um, I can't prove that they're doing it. I can't even believe they're doing it. But I was raised by somebody who um, didn't want me alive. And um, she uh, was afraid to let me know directly. But she hinted at it all the time when I was growing up. And she hinted at it even after I became an adult. So I think uh, I might have a better idea than most people when I'm being uh, sabotaged or uh, stealthily uh, mistreated. And that's why I suspect some stuff has been going on at IOP. And even, uh, I don't know, even, even uh, Olga, I don't know, but... I can forgive her more because she's just a, a client. She's not one of the uh, intensive outpatient people that work there. She's a client. She's having dealing with her own struggles there. We all are at the clinic. But uh, the mental health workers, you know, they ought to know better than to uh, mistreat clients or, or treat clients sometimes uh, in a bad way for their own uh, enjoyment and gratification. Um, um, someone, I think, in the organ community, uh, meaning the music, the music, uh, community, I don't know if he's retaliating on me, but, um, I mentioned him on one of my last, uh, videos and podcast episodes, and I mentioned him, uh, in a positive way, um, I was thanking him for um, continuing to do his music and um, doing it in such a way that, that supported uh, my best interest as a listener. And I went to one of his um, events the other day, this week, and um, usually when I, when I go to uh, the event and I make myself known, you know, of course I make myself known just by saying, hello, you know, how's everybody doing, blah, 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 you know, just, you know, acting amicable and presentable and cool. And um, usually the person uh, responds to me professionally and positively. And I noticed that... Um, this past time, he didn't, he, he kind of uh, brushed over me, he kind of, you know, he didn't acknowledge that I was there, and um, that hit me all too familiarly, I didn't nag him, I didn't push, I didn't inquire, I didn't uh, say anything or do anything, but um, I, I took note of it mentally, I took note of it in my mind, and um, I was disturbed about it inside, and um I uh, interacted with the other listeners and um, went on my way. And um, he had announced another uh, event 
um, today and I waited to be notified and um, sure enough I was but uh, I went I went on and um, I noticed he wasn't there and I noticed everybody was uh, talking and um, chatting and um, not even noticing uh, that he was he wasn't there yet and um, I thought oh my gosh you know what if he's uh, what if he's avoiding uh, putting the show on because he noticed that I came in I didn't uh, say anything this time I was I was feeling a little squirrely I didn't I didn't uh, want anyone to uh, know that I was there maybe maybe they did know maybe the moderators knew I was there maybe maybe he knew I don't know but um, I didn't really I kind of made myself uh, I kind of uh, made myself a fly on the wall just you know observing I didn't really interact this time because I didn't know why he didn't interact with me last time and um, Ten minutes later, I mean, almost fifteen minutes into the uh, event, he didn't uh, start playing. He didn't start uh, talking, and I didn't know if he was even still there. You know, I, I was figuring, you know, maybe, maybe he was uh, setting up. I was trying really hard to give him the benefit of the doubt and think maybe he was just setting up. And I, uh, I verbally told my roommate, um, my my face to face roommate. You know, as I was sitting waiting, I said, Bruce, I, I wonder what's going on. I was looking forward to this uh, event, and it's already you know, almost quarter after the hour that he's supposed to be on, and I don't know what's going on. It just looks like we're still waiting for, for them to come on. And he's like, oh, Jen Carroll, don't worry about it. That he, he's pro they're probably just running a little late. Well... They don't usually run late, and this is a pretty uh, disturbing coincidence. This was right after I was I was there the the, the time before, and um, they didn't acknowledge that I was there. And I was pretty verbal. I was pretty active with the other listeners, so it's not like he shouldn't have noticed me. And I have a really long username, so uh, he noticed last time. But I think he noticed this past time and chose not to acknowledge that I was there. And I think it was because I had mentioned him on my last video about uh, the Spreckles organ. And um, I got really scared. I thought, Jean Carroll, to myself, I thought, you're going to probably be going through this more and more as you become more and more well known on YouTube and on other 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 channels and on your podcasts especially since you're uh, trying to spread yourself around wherever you can for free you know you're you're becoming more uh, known a little bit you're probably not still not as well known as most cuz you you don't have the money to do that but you're getting yourself out there and you know you'd better friggin uh, be ready for people to not like you you know, to, to not like what you're saying. But um, that hurt again. I mean, him not acknowledging that I was there hurt a lot. And um, I'll tell you why it hurts. Because um, I really looked up to him in the music world. And I really appreciated his uh, performances. And um, to think that he, was, he might be uh, denying... You know, depriving myself and and everybody else of the concert because he's upset with me is just really disturbing to me. And my roommate was trying to help me calm down and say, "Oh, oh, 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 Turquoise, you're being really ridiculous here. You know, you're you're being really paranoid." And and I told him, I said, "Look, I need to play devil's advocate with you here." I'm usually right about things, even when other people don't think I am. I was right about my aunt not wanting me alive. I was right about um, the uh, workers, you know. I was right about uh, Olga. I was right about the van drivers. Um, they don't want me there. And uh, they can't deny me 
to be there because my insurance is paying for the treatment. You know, that it would be unprofessional of them to uh, deny me treatment. And there are people in, in the treatment, you know, on the, the higher levels that, uh, that want to treat me. So um, these lower level workers and these van drivers, you know, they don't like me. And they think they have a right to uh, stealthily uh, mistreat me. And you believe me there. If you don't believe me about this, o this other uh, latest uh, person, sorry, you know, but I don't believe you. I, I have been through a lot, and you know it, Bruce. So I had to defend myself and say, I really wish I could uh, believe it. I really wish I could believe that I have nothing to worry about, but I don't think this person wants me at his uh, concert because I um, got upset about... Uh, the other concert's not being free. So, um, I don't know. Someone might not like me uh, talking about this right now. But, um, if you're one of those people, you know who you are. And um, I'm on to you. If you're not one of those people, or if no one's doing anything here, I think it's important to uh, pay attention and be discerning about covert very covert, very micro-covert, and stealthy uh, types of abuse, you know. Um, pay attention to when uh, you don't feel like uh, being around a certain person. Um, like if you're, you're late for an event, or if you're, uh, you know, dragging your heels doing something. Maybe it's because you don't want to be with this other person, or around this job, or whatever. Maybe you hate your job, or maybe you don't like your... Uh, people you got to deal with every day, but um, I think it's because we're afraid to uh, admit to one another that we're, we're pissed off at each other, or we're, we hate each other. I think it's hard to admit that lots of times. You know, it takes a big person to be able to say, um, I don't appreciate what you said, or I, you know, I think you're, you know, I think you're a piece of shit, or whatever. I mean... Excuse my uh, language. Well, if this goes on YouTube or anywhere, I might get censored for saying a bad word. But, you know, sometimes I still swear. I'm trying not to as much. But, um, and if you think you're being uh, treated badly and it's kind of under the radar and no one believes you or you're not sure you believe it, maybe it is true. But let me tell you something, everyone. If you're being treated like that and no one believes you and you can't put your finger on it or stop it, the only way you can deal with it is by walking away. And I did. I unsubscribed from this guy. I'm not going back to his shows either. I'm freaking heartbroken. But um, I have to take care of myself. I have to be in, in venues and surroundings and environments that are not toxic. If someone uh, doesn't want me around, I can pick it up just like that, and it hurts a lot, and um, it hurts even more when people don't believe me. <sighs> My 15 minutes on Spreaker are almost up, but uh, th this is important. Um, another thing I want to say is, if you are suspecting that someone is hurting you, or if you're on the other end of it, and you feel like hurting someone, and you don't know how to tell them, you know, you're upset. This means more than ever that our society needs to change. We need to learn how to communicate again instead of punishing each other. The, the very symptom of Donald Trump getting assassinated, I'll just say that. I don't like Donald Trump, but... Um, I still don't want to shoot him. Just because I don't want to shoot him doesn't mean uh, I like what he did when he was president. And it still doesn't mean I want him to be president. So, uh, for, for God's sake, you know, kindness is not boring. I mentioned that on another video.
Bye.